you've probably heard me say this many times. And as you know, this is my job aligning the head and the body so that the two can work more optimally and efficiently together. And you may think it's a little cliche when you hear me say it over and over and over again, but what's the first thing that goes sideways when you're on the pickleball court? Well, it may be something physical, right? Like a slice or a lob or a drop or a drive or whatever. But a lot of times it's worth looking at what's behind that, especially if that's like a shot that's in your arsenal that you usually hit pretty well. Then usually it's something that's going on up here. So by doing some really simple strategic things, to develop and deal with what goes on in your head, it can make, honestly, make the hugest of differences. I mean, I've been doing this work for over 20 years and I have seen people's lives really change dramatically. Our coping skills, which is basically our mindset, our mental strength, all of that, it's basically the same things, life skills, coping skills. They're really developed unconsciously when we're a kid, usually before the age of 10 or 11. And for many of us, there does become a point in time where we have to develop what I call more conscious coping skills. Because when we're little, we're just like scrambling to try to figure out how to deal with something that's happened when we're older, those skills that we developed when we're younger don't generally work for us, particularly in areas that we care a ton about. We just don't have the mindset, the coping skills to be able to deal with what's happening, like mistakes, nerves, um, you know, what people think about you as a person, as a player. I mean, you know, the list goes on and on. We just don't really have the skills and the ability to be able to deal with that. And then usually that, that's the first thing that goes eh, sort of haywire when we're on court. Look, this doesn't take a lifetime of work. It really is very minimal and minimally, minimally invasive. Sometimes I hate using that because it sounds weird, but it's true. I really help people in a very limited, short amount of time to figure out how to align these two, well, really one, but two parts of our body so that some of the things that are probably happening right now for you on court are minimal versus bigger. So developing the mind so that the mind and body work more optimally together. It's not therapy. It's not really digging too much into your deep dark past. It's, and again, it's minimally invasive and relatively short period of time, but the impact is huge. This is Dr. Michelle helping to support you in aligning your head and your body so that the two pieces can work more optimally together. See you soon.